Hey guys and welcome back. We're back out here at Crossbar Ranch in Davis, Oklahoma. We're going to be doing a little testing on the Jeep today for something new. I think you're going to like it. And so like I said guys, welcome back. Uh, we made a little new addition here to the Jeep today and we're just going to be running around out here at Crossbar giving them a little test out and as you can see, we got some new treads. So we were running the BFG 37, 12, 50, 17 KO2s, absolutely phenomenal tire. Not going to knock them at all. But we decided to go all out and we have purchased some 40 inch stickies. <laughs> yes, stickies. Uh, we can't really drive the Jeep on the highway anymore. Anyways, so we're just going to see how they do. So, so what we ended up purchasing was the Aturo Green Label 40 13 50 17 uh, non-DOT stickies. Um, they're, they're a pretty awesome tire, guys. I uh, they, they, they do run a little skinny, I think. Um, they're not really a true 1350 width like maybe you're used to seeing. So they kind of have the profile of they look really narrow. And I think that's just because they're, they're so tall. But they are very soft. And um, they measured out on the Jeep at air pressure right at about 26 pounds. They measured out right at about 38 and a half bumping 39 inches tall so they're not really a true 40 per se but they come really close to it now next to my 37s they looked huge okay so start start from right there when you start forward just stay in the throttle oh my radio died go 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 Okay, back that way. Come on, give it some gas. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. There we go. All right, if you haven't figured it out by now, no, I am not driving the Jeep. This was kind of sort of a girl's weekend out. You see, it's Providence's birthday. She's driving the rock solid rig Jeep. Brooke came up. She's got some new treads as well. And of course, we got the 40s put on our Jeep and Denise is driving it. So, if you are looking for us to put this thing on the biggest, baddest, hardest obstacle we can possibly find to try these tires out, wrong video. Stay tuned for that one. It'll be coming real soon. So this trip was merely about just getting some drive time on the Jeep, see how it's going to react. Uh, we did have some clearance issues as well. So we had a few bugs to work out before we stick it on the bad, gnarly stuff. Yeah, stay just like that. Our driver. Come on, Brooke, keep on coming. Little tiny bit passenger. Just keep on coming forward and turning passenger real slow all at the same time. Passenger, passenger. There you go. Not all the way, passenger. Come on. A little bit, driver. Get in that fender, girl. There you go, just like that. More driver. A little bit more driver. More driver. More driver. Now back to the passenger. Just like you're gonna go straight. That line right there, just drive right on by me.
Yeah, just bring it to the driver a little bit. There you go. Straighten it back out, and there you go. The driver tire is going to go right up over that little rock right there. A little bit driver. But we'll go driver as it comes up, not, not stationary. Back driver, there you go. Just like that. All right, come back to the driver and then just yep, drive right on through. Hard this way. Now, if you've got your acute tuned sense of hearing turned up, you'll keep hearing a popping sound in the front of the Jeep. I figured that out. I'll explain it later. And cue the downpour. Now, it had already rained a little bit on us when we were up here, but it wasn't anything too terribly god awful. But everywhere we went earlier in the runs that you saw, the ground was very damp and slick with a lot of silt and stuff on the rock. Now, we had went over to the other side of the park, and I had intended on trying to find a little something to, to stick these tires on, uh, just to see how it would do in the damp, kind of muddy situation, but... Mother Nature had other plans in store and it come an absolute downpour. Now I will say these tires in the mud, <laughs> I give them two thumbs up. They were an absolute blast. A far cry different than what I was used to with the KO2s. So every mud puddle that I found, well, I had a little bit of a kid inside of me now. If you have never been to Crossbar Ranch, you're not going to fully understand what I'm talking about here. But if you have been, you're going to be like, yep, you are absolutely correct. Now, if you've never been, I highly recommend that you go. Davis, Oklahoma, Crossbar Ranch, it's a really cool place to ride. Now, you're going to find, if you come out here, this place is literally every environment you could possibly imagine. From one side of the park, it's really steep canyons. You're down inside of all these rock ledges. They're going way up beside you, towering super high. The other corner of the ranch, open plains, vistas, a lot of riding through the pastures, open country, just views for miles and miles. And then you pop over here to this part of the ranch, and all of a sudden, it becomes nothing but evergreens. It's closed in over the road, super tight trails. It really reminds me a lot of riding around like in British Columbia. There's some YouTube channels out there that they live up there. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Now, this part of the ranch we had never really been to before. But we wanted to come check it out as we had noticed a little uh, something on the Gaia map that we had never noticed before. Now, we have been here a whole lot, but I just never really paid much attention to it. So... We set out on a mission to go find something that we had never seen before. Well, there's a no trespass inside right there, so it kept us from going further left. Oh. 
bet you that little road right there was the one that turned and went down to them. Well, <clears throat> as you can see on the Gaia map there, there's a point of interest that's labeled Lick Creek Falls. And this whole adventure was about trying to go and find that POI as we had never seen it before out here at Crossbar Ranch. So we decided to try and find it, which is what led to coming through this road that you've been seeing all that scenery from. But this is what we've come to. Unfortunately, Lick Creek Falls is not actually on the Crossbar Ranch. So we were not able to make it to it. As the sign says, no trespassing. And we respect that wholeheartedly 100% out here. We're just so thankful that we have this beautiful place to ride. But it was definitely an adventure to get here to try to find it. And, uh, well, it's still raining. <laughs> and it's still coming down. We're slowly starting to develop little streams coming down the road. We've had a lot of rain this morning already. Unfortunately, no Lick Creek Falls. But we're going to continue on down this road. We've, we've never been down this road. We've never mapped it. Ooh, that was a lot of lightning. Man, it's probably not the smartest thing to stand out here, but... Anyway, <laughs> there it was. Uh, unfortunately, the weather has kind of hindered a little bit of the, the, the tire testing today, but it has been really cool running these things in the mud out here to see how they've been acting. They've been acting really super cool in the mud. So that's an improvement, definitely. But anyways, like I say, no Lick Creek Falls. Josh has got the drone up anyways. This ought to be interesting. Some Albert Einstein stuff, maybe with some lightning. <laughs> anyway, he's going to fly the drone uh, back, over, back over this way and see if we can actually see where the falls might be.
you are. Now there is one thing that really annoys me about cameras and that's no matter what you do the camera can never really show the true angle of the trail so on camera it always looks like well you can see a little bit of a tilt here which not a little bit of a tilt there's a whole lot of tilt right there off camera not really off camera but anyway I hate cameras because they can never really show the true inclination or the decline in a trail. No matter how you shoot it, it always looks like it's flat. And I'm here to tell you, this trail that we're going up right now is anything but flat. Uh, I don't know the percentage of the grade that we're actually going up right now, but you've been on a lot of freeways and tunnels and stuff in your lifetime and going through Colorado with 10% grades and stuff like that. It has to be at least a good 15 to 20 percent grade that we're going up right now. This section of trail that we've been following here is uh, actually named Roller Coaster. <laughs> and I don't know if you can tell why it's named Roller Coaster or not. I mean, it couldn't possibly be the constant up and down the mountains that you're doing here. But no, yes, it exactly is named after that because it really resembles a roller coaster. So it's a really cool trail that uh, just kind of cuts across the heart of the park here.
had money for a camera set up like that? Uh, Allie bought it for me because I am poor and broke. <laughs> I'm <blind. laughs> Woo, it's bright out here. Turned out to be a beautiful day. Unfortunately, it's the day to go home, but as you can see, we got everything loaded up here. Um, Josh and them are getting everything loaded up. Brooke's getting hers all packed up and everything like that. So unfortunately, weather really caught us uh, pretty bad up here this weekend. So we didn't get to do as much fun testing with the tires as we wanted to. Um, it, ju it just poured, guys, and I wasn't gonna have nobody out there spotting and doing all that crap. So. Anyway, we had a blast. We still rode a lot of trails. Uh, I can still tell, even with just what we did, that the tires are pretty flipping awesome. So I'm gonna have to give a huge shout out here though to somebody else, um, Ben, <laughs> JK Gear and Gadgets Ben. If you don't subscribe to his channel, you really should because the guy is super, super knowledgeable. Anyway, I have talked to him about these tires for so long now, uh, his thoughts on them, because he's had them for quite a while and he's put a lot of miles on them already and he's still loving them, so that's why we made the choice to go with him, uh, was based off of, of Ben and his input. So thank you, Ben, very much for that. And he's been a great help, because I did have some problems trying to get them mounted. But <laughs> anyways, that's it for this weekend for the tires. Uh, we will actually be in Moab, Utah before that happens, so I'm sure they're gonna get a hell of a workout out there in Moab. But um, anyway, the Aturos, the green labels, the stickies, non-DOTs, I love them. So until next time, we will give y'all a follow-up on how they do uh, out in Utah, obviously. Uh, tons of grip out there, so they should really shine a lot out there. So we'll see you guys later.